Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, today I'm going to be trying out Viego, champion that just came out. I'm going to go ahead and play him in ranked. Uh, this is just a smurf of mine. I don't play on this account very often. And I'm just going to be limit testing, basically. And I feel like this is a great account to do so. So let's get started. Viego is open. Cool. As for runes, I want to take Presti Attack because he's a later rune king user and he does a lot of double hits and he scales into the game, so I feel like Presti Attack would make his early game oppressive. Uh, triumph, I always take Triumph over the others because uh, I don't need Presence of Mind. I feel like I don't and I'm just way too used to Triumph. As for here, um, I prefer Tenacity now, nowadays. I like Tenacity over Attack Speed and I just like to take Attack Speed in this page just because I feel like uh, Ability Haste is absolutely useless. Is useless so. Yeah, and then last hand is just super good on these hardcore bruisers like Viego. And uh, as for my secondary, I'll take this because Viego has a dash. And I will be taking, let's see. Even with the nerfs, I feel like Ravenous Hunter is still strong. So I'm going to go ahead and take Ravenous Hunter. Okay. Okay, I didn't even know what that does. I didn't know that was a dash. That's, that's crazy. Oh, I got Corrupting Potion, and my champion doesn't use mana. Whoops. <laughs> okay, the hitbox is not very forgiving. <laughs> not gonna lie, it's pretty cool though. Pretty cool champion. Uh, it's, it's got a long range, I like it. But... This is the dash, I think. No. This is the dash, yeah. Ha, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> All right, how do you, okay, let's, we right click him. <laughs> and now we're vain, that's so fucking cool. I'm gonna just go ahead and sell the corrupting potion. That's completely troll. Um, I'm gonna get two double dorm blades and a, a health pot. I'm gonna go ahead and be maxing my Q here. Let's go ahead and engage. Okay. <laughs> no way. <laughs> How did I kill him? What the fuck? Uh, the champion has a lot of base damage. I misplayed really hard against the Vayne and I kind of just shit on her anyways, which is kind of crazy. This champion is definitely not balanced as per every champion on release when it comes to Riot, so. And the fact that this champion doesn't run on mana is kind of crazy. Look, I'm missing all my abilities and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna die here though. <laughs> All right, no worries. So this doesn't increase my dash range. It just increases my stun range. Begin charging. Uh, Viego dashes forward. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't increase my dash range whatsoever. <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> That's awesome. No! Oh my god, dude. That's so hype. I like this. Does this go on forever? Oh, okay, so it does have range, but it's so massive, it's not even fair. Okay, well, I, at least I know what his W does now. I'm not sure if I should be maxing W or E second. I'm assuming I'm gonna be maxing my W second, but I'm always wrong, so it's probably gonna be E. I'm, I'm actually not sure. Okay, so this is AoE, which is also really cool. What? Oh, it only hits one enemy, okay. So his Q is just his wave clear and his polk, I guess. Just like every other champion. Oh, I just clicked. His, his autos are so easy to cancel. I still don't exactly know what his ult does. I'm gonna go back here and then buy double daggers. By the time I come back, I should have my ignite and I should be able to fight him. So let's go ahead and read his ult. Viego discards any soul he's currently possessing. Okay, that's his passive. And teleports. On arrival, he attacks the champion with the lowest percent health, briefly slowing them by 99%, so basically a snare, and dealing damage. Fuck, dude. <laughs> oh my god. 
Okay, that's epic. <laughs> Oh my god, I almost killed her. I almost killed her. It looks like Yasuo Q, but it's nowhere near. Okay. Nice. Alright. Let's go. Oh, no way. Does he die? He dies, but I don't get his soul, obviously, because I'm dead. Interesting. Yeah, maxing East Deccan looks so much better. I can't queue the tower, unfortunate. Just dash off here. That's unlucky. Okay, I'm gonna try and fight this guy. Alright, not bad. I killed him. <laughs> that was a lot of fucking damage. Well, now that I can fight Vayne, I can definitely just start split pushing against her. It's crazy that I killed the Vayne having only one item when she had almost four for them. Okay. Oh my god, no way. So close. <gasps> no, no, no. No way. No way, dude. That was so epic. What the fuck was that? I don't even I don't even know what I did. I just clicked my abilities. What the fuck? It's gonna start it, I don't care. Vayne's their primary threat, and she's not here. I shouldn't be using my W though. I can use my E. Oh, nice. We got it really fast. I didn't even mean to right click him like that. Blitzcrank. Oh, rip, I guess. Oh, I'm dead, dude. I misplayed. Oh my, dude, what the fuck? I was one HP and I just completely fucked the vein. Alright, so what we learned from the first game is a lot of things. I've learned Viego's abilities. I've learned that he's completely overtuned even when he's behind. Hmm. We're up against Timo this time. So Timo should be very difficult to beat as Viego. So we'll see how it goes. But Blade Ranking is definitely a strong item on this champion. I think Barrier Ignite on Viego is honestly not bad either. I don't think he needs to flash to do anything. I mean, you can flash W, but that's just so little and it's not very game changing. Uh, the primary thing that I've noticed about Viego is that he doesn't have a damage condition. He just does a lot of damage. This game we're up against a team with Grasp, so this should be super difficult for any melee champion to deal with. I feel like a Dorn Shield would be better, but I think because the champion is just so overpowered, I could get away with a Doran Blade. So I'm gonna go ahead and take Doran Blade and then I'm gonna start, instead of starting Q, I could start W. I'm, st I'm still gonna think about it. So if I started Q, there's no way I can get onto him, but if I started W, I can dash onto him, stun him and proc my pressy attack. So I'm actually gonna start my W and then I'm gonna take my Q second and then I'm gonna take my E third. Let's go ahead and engage on him because he let me here. See, I don't like the fact, oh my not cool dude i don't like the fact that you can cancel autos on this champion all right let's go ahead and 
Oh, let's go! Let's go, dude! <laughs> W start is so good. Okay, I'm gonna be taking E second, obviously, because he has his blind. Alright, let's go ahead and move in on him. Oh my god. Okay. We're just gonna walk this on. We're just gonna walk it off. Alright, no worries. Um, Your W is really difficult to land when there's minions in the way. Really, really difficult ability to land. Right here, I think I've caught him off guard. Oh no, he baited me. Oh, 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 no way. Oh, God. All right, here we go. Oh, no. Okay, I just got him with the ignite. Uh, I don't... What is he doing? Okay, he just trolled me for absolutely no reason. Why did he do that? It makes no sense. I love how this champion does not run on mana either, so I can just spam whatever champion's mana that I have. That's pretty good. Alright, let's see if I can do something here. And here we... Oh my god. Man, I keep forgetting. Let's go, dude. <gasps> oh my... <laughs> let's go. You're fucked now, you dumb fuck. I can just wait out the blind, too. Oh, let's go. Beautiful. I really do want to try Triforce, man. I'm going to go ahead and try Triforce. Fuck it. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm not going to live, obviously. What about... Dude, from what I've seen, Viego cannot be targeted or hit by anything when he's taking the soul of someone. So while I'm under tower, if I tower dive someone and take their soul, I think I can just drop aggro that way because I'm technically doing a weird blink. So I'm gonna try that next time I tower dive him. I'm just gonna start taking his soul under tower and see if I can live that way. Oh my God, dude. I'm gonna die here. There's no way I win this. No way I win this. Okay, I did win that. <laughs> I did, okay. <gasps> oh, Timo, you motherfucker, dude. Is this guy gonna try and kill me, really? Oh, he's got friends. I took a tower shot. <sighs> Dude, I almost killed him. Completely misplaying and panicking. I have to calm down in scenarios like that. Whenever I'm playing a new champion, I always just smash every button and just start freaking out. If I play that a bit more calmly, I could have probably killed them both, actually. Because I did a lot of damage to the Nunu, who's actually a full tank. Oh my god, he just... Kha'Zix will always be Kha'Zix, man. It's crazy. Okay. Oh, I, I could use my W to... Oh, that's genius. I can use my W to cancel the Nunu ult because it's CC. Alright, I'm gonna save my W here for the Nunu, which I see right there. I'm gonna save my W for his ult. I'm gonna reposition with my E. Okay. No fucking way, dude. No fucking way. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just engage with my ult here and see what happens. can't beat me man oh you can beat me what i just wow look at that lifesteal he's got like te what the fuck he's got so much survivability all right i need executioners here okay. oh my god i'm 
smashing every ability. <laughs> I smashed every ability. Wait, I took all the souls and didn't even use any of them. Wait, what did I even do? I did. I don't think I did anything. I think that was all Twitch. All right, let's go. And I can always use my Q for shaper. I do like. Okay, let's try again, Timo. Oh yes. Not- oh, I'm so fucking- oh wait, I have the fucking- his items, so I don't get to die here. Oh, you motherfucker. That's right. I should have engaged with my E and I would have done a lot more there. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put my shroud here. And then channel this. Okay. Okay, I got him. That's one pike. Oh, wait. Oh my god, I'm so bad. What I was trying to do there is, since I ulted him and killed him, I thought my ult resets, so I tried to go for another ult. So I just spamming it, sitting there doing nothing that whole time. Okay, it's GG. I think they threw by trying to take Baron. Well, I mean, it's not like they were ahead, but like, that was just a stupid thing to do. All right, Timo, let's see what you got. <laughs> I don't, I don't stand a chance, man. What the fuck? What? What? My champion is supposed to be OP. What the fuck? Okay. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Oh! Oh my god. I almost killed him. Oh! Uh, yes! <laughs> no way. Okay, my champion is actually strong. My actually, my champion's actually strong late game. I just need to know how to use him late game correctly and how to fight him. Because right now, I'm literally spamming my abilities. But my stun is just so strong. 0.25 seconds is more than enough time to do a load of fucking damage. Wow. Just wow. I'm just mind blown, dude. I don't know. I, I don't like the corny little jacket that he's wearing. It looks like a punk. He's into like heavy fucking death rock or whatever. He looks like one of those crazy metallic fans. I'm not a fan of that. Look, why isn't he fully clothed? He's got a crown on his head, which means he's like some sort of king. His nickname is Bitterroon King. Is this how a king dresses? No, this is how a fucking teenage junkie dress dresses. Like, this is so pathetic. Like, no king ever dressed like that in his whole life. Like, ever. You don't see that in any fucking era. Like, this is so out of... Like, why? It makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. But at least give him a fucking shirt. Like, he's not wearing anything. And that's not very kingly of him to do. Personally, I think the design is just... It's okay. It's really, really, really overtuned, obviously. But there hasn't been much thought put into the champion design itself. And the look of the champion. All that stuff. There hasn't been much thought put into it. The ultimate is kind of like a pike ultimate. I think that's pathetic that they have designs like that. I don't think Viego's a good design. I think he's a strong champion. And so far, I enjoy playing him. But I really don't think this is it. I think this is a poorly designed champion. And I think him being named Blader Rune King, you need to put more emphasis on this by making it so that he really is Blade of Ruin King. Make him professional. Give him a bigger cape. Make him have an appearance similar to Swain's. Not a little boy in his teens walking around with no shirt. He's a grown man. This is not how grown men dress. You don't wear a jacket like that and just walk around with your punk jeans. Like, this doesn't add up, dude. This guy doesn't look epic or badass. He's just a fucking punk. Not, not, I'm not a fan of the design. I'm not a fan of the abilities. As overtuned as they are, not a fan at all. His E is literally Akali's E, and Kiana has a similar ability as that. Where, where is, okay, where's, where's the thought process behind that? What's distinguishing him from other champions? Not much is. I'll tell you that. Not much is at all. Um. Hmm. Okay, so that's that's a problem. And then his Q though, his Q is literally the same as Yasuo and Yon's Q to an extent. It's the exact same ability. 
and it's the same ability as a few other champions who have Qs like that. That's that's basically Viego in a nutshell. It's a very, very poorly thought out champion with a lot of stats. Mm, okay. I guess that's it, yeah. I'm done with this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and please leave me a follow on Twitch. That's where you can catch me. I'm going to be grinding on my main account and hopefully trying to hit Challenger this season. Hopefully I'll get Challenger. Maybe not, but um, come find out. So thank you. So thanks again for watching and have a good day.